My name is Angela Wilson, and I am an owner of Avadano's Holly Park Market. I have worked as a butcher for about 10 years. I became a butcher because I was a restaurant cook for most of my life. I started off in Santa Cruz. I went to UC Santa Cruz, and I helped open a restaurant there called Gabriella Cafe. We would source all of our produce from small farms. Without small butcher shops, it's very difficult for small farms to survive. Avedano's has been a butcher shop since 1901 in San Francisco on Cortland Avenue in Vernal Heights. The floor and the case are all from about the time of 1955, and it's only been a butcher shop, and there's not a lot of businesses in San Francisco that have only been one thing. I'm all for vegetarians, but if you're gonna eat meat, eat meat from quality sources. And if we care about our food systems in California, which we're in a losing battle, we need to start supporting butcher shops. And I always say, eat less and pay more. We sell our chickens with a head and feet on them because somebody has to pay for that. And you can make stock with that. And when you pay $25 for a chicken, you're gonna use a whole chicken. And I guarantee you, if you go to Safeway and spend $8 on a chicken, half of it's going in the garbage. And food waste is a big problem. When we started Avedano's, it didn't occur to us that this was a male field. People did say, wow, good job, even for a girl. But the interesting thing about butchery is it's a woman's field in most of the world. Just in the United States, is it a man's job? I consider myself to be an empowered woman and uh, I raise a son and I teach him to respect women. And yes, I, I consider every woman who works here to be very empowered and very strong. In San Francisco, rents are high, labor is high, and our cost of goods sold because we sell the highest quality stuff is really high. So the profit margin's really low, but I'd say for everybody here, this is a labor of love. And that's a challenge in this town because there's so many people chasing money here and not chasing their passion, but I can guarantee you everybody here, it's their passion. Um, I'm the chef Iana Seiko. I've been cooking my whole life. Uh, I think there's a really, really strong presence of women heading up kitchens in the Bay Area, which is really why I moved out here. I think that we're really strong in the industry and it's really awesome to see. It was kind of dying and I feel like women butchering really helped bring it back up. I'm definitely the only female butcher in my family. <laughs> I fell in love with it and I was like, this is fun. I like cutting up animals. I like learning about where my food is coming from. I hustled, you know, I, I worked, I came in on my days off to learn how to do the hog, to learn how to do the lamb. I picked up as many shifts as I could. I continuously asked the people who were the butchers at the time I was hired to show me, and that's kind of how I got here today. It's something very special to have a female butcher because it is a male-dominated field, just like a lot of fields like still are to this day. So I think it's very special to have a woman, and especially somebody who's five foot two, 110 pounds, and just like going at it. You know, I'm a, I'm a tiny girl, but it definitely makes me feel like a badass, <laughs> for sure. The sad thing is, is the building sold, so I'm renegotiating my lease. I think the neighborhood wants us to be here for the long haul, but that being said, this is a very difficult business. It's a constant struggle to maintain freshness and deal with what we have to every day. It's a very high labor business, but it's something I'm very proud of. If you want to get a job at Avedano's, you first of all have to have a good attitude and the will to learn. And we'd start you off on the bottom, which would be front of house. So you'd take care of all the produce, the fish, the charcuterie station, and then you'd work your way up. And that's the way we do everything. Employing people who have a passion for this and empowering them to learn skills that are lost. Thank you.